Hello, hello, and welcome for something completely different. And I apologize right away if there's background noises like birds and dogs barking because where I'm from, I can never get peace and quiet. It's impossible. And I only have one window open in this room and it's all the way in the back room. And if you still hear something, well, I'm sorry, it's just hot and I'm going to melt to death. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is like completely different from what I've been doing for my other videos and when I mean other videos I mean those two I released and they're like I posted the first one on the first of January and four months later I released the other one and there goes the dog anyway and it's like I want to do so much more than those two those two videos trust me but in short I where I'm from I have mandatory military service and it sucks and and I don't, I don't want to. I don't want anyone to pity me for what I'm going through. And it's like I'm forced to do it. There's nothing I can do about it. I just have to suck it up. So like, yeah, I have one year taken away from me. It sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I have to suck it up. I was like, get ready for me to butcher this English language because I just did it, didn't I? Well, anyway, so this is my reason for trying something like this to do a podcast as a way to be able to keep track stuff and have like a personal diary so and i have something on this channel i just don't want to leave those two videos and then a year later i come back with another one but like it's something to have to leave and something to help me go by up. my military service lasts for a year and only i presumably get one day off a week so my plan is to have one podcast once a week. Even though I'm pretty sure the first time I go there, I actually stayed there for 10 days, so I kind of screwed that up, but that's not the point. As a way to keep, like I said, to keep track of myself. And it's like, I want to do so much more. I just finished my school year, and then I have to go straight away to the army. It sucks. There's no other way of putting it. And I, and I know it sounds like me, I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining because I don't want to do this. But like, it's something I have to, so I have to suck it up. And like, just finishing high school as well, I, and I also turned 18 a couple of weeks, uh, last week actually. And there's a lot to take in, you know? Being illegal and stuff, and being a legal adult and stuff. Like buying my own clothes for the first time. Clothes are not cheap, I realize. So it's like... Sacrifice basic necessity or video games. It's a hard choice actually apparently <laughs> And it's like with the whole virus going on as well it honestly it helped me a little bit because I could stay home for three months during school But it also didn't it was like waking up early to do online classes as well for me It wasn't hard actually. I'm actually really used to waking up early. I'm someone who goes to bed early and wakes up early. It's actually a pause in my opinion. So it never struck me and to be honest, the way my school does it, apparently in other places they actually had cameras and stuff like your face cam, but where I'm from not a lot of children actually have those luxuries. So it was only the audio and you can actually just use your phone for it. Anyway, and it's like simply mute yourself and then play video games if you wanted to. That's that's what I did. I'm not exactly the best student out there, to say the least. I'm kind of, I wasn't a, I wasn't a bad boy, but like, I wasn't the smartest, to say the least. Like, when it comes to school, I fail a class every year and I have to redo the exam, but that's not the point. So it was sort of like the silver lining in all of this for me, like, a lot of people struggle with it, staying home and stuff, but for me it was like, stay home and play video games, have a nice cup of coffee while you're at it, and it was, it was fun, and with that I was able to bloody beat the entirety of Kingdom Hearts, it's not even a joke. Anyway, so, this is my, and it's like, oh, and I apologize if you can hear my computer, it's like, not computer, laptop, it's hot here, and it doesn't like it, and it's like, yeah, I don't have all of the stuff that other professionals have to make it sound like as though I'm just sitting in air. So, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, and like, there were so many other videos I wanted to do before going to the army, but like... I couldn't, not, it's not like I... I was just very lazy, simply put. 
I found I realized something that a lot of different content creators they have their weaknesses and what's the opposite of weaknesses? Gainings? No, that's wrong. And strength actually. And it's like some people have an easier time editing video while other people have a hard time writing for videos. Audio, audio as well, like recording, can take a lot of out of you for some, I realize. For me, like you can hear it in my two first video. You can hear like in my first one, it was very low. Like I had a mic right in front of me, yet for some reason I wanted to stay all the way in the back. It's weird. And in my second video, I slightly improved because I decided, oh yeah, I should go up close to the mic this time. And it's like, I will have a script ready to go. Like there were multiple other scripts I had ready actually just to speak. But when I did the audio and go through it, I was just like, I don't want to do this. It's hard. It's like, it's not like I edit my audios really hard as well. Like I just make sure like, oh yeah, I breathe really hard here. I should probably cut it out or something. But then like you go through that process and like sometimes the video can be like 20 minutes long or half an hour long. And it's like... I don't want to go through that. It's like, it's not hard. It's tedious and it can also be annoying because you're like, you hear yourself and you're like, I can do that part later. But once I do that part later, everything else sounds bad. And for me, it's like, oh, this just sucks. And it made me feel down. I was like, I stop and then I go to bed and then I just don't do it. like. I had one, I made one script about Project Diva actually, like a sort of retrospective and that and when I did the audio I did all of it in one go which ended up being around half an hour, 40 minutes, it's been a while. But then I'm like, I don't like this and then I just stopped editing it and then closed it and left it be and it was like, I want to do it but then I'm like, no, you don't want to do it, you want to do better than this but then like, how can I do better and then I'm like, try something and then I just close it. It's like, it's sad and it's like, and I have no one else to blame but me. It's like, I don't, it's not like I don't want to put effort in it. I realize that it's like, I have my weaknesses when it comes to audio. It's like, I'm not used to speaking in a mic. You can hear right here, right now, I have like 10 seconds where I don't speak anything because I'm just like, why should I say? It's, it sucks because like, I want to do better. I know I can do better, but it's like, uh, I have to put the effort into it, it's dumb. It's like, okay, can I say it's the same as drawing? Like, you want to improve on your drawing, and then you try to do it, then you just get sad because, like, I can't do it, it sucks. And then you drop it for a couple of days, and then you go do it again, and then you go through the whole process until to the point where you're like, oh yeah, I'm actually okay at this, I can actually keep going. That was for me, because there were, like, so many videos that I wanted to complete, like, if you notice my two videos, one was released on the 1st of January and then the other one was released a couple of months later. I, I believe four to six months, it's weird and that's... And funny story with those videos actually, I did all of them out of pettiness. It's not even a joke, it's like the only thing keeping me from doing, from making me go do it is like pettiness, it's dumb. Like, how dare you say this game is bad, I'm gonna prove you that it's wrong. And it's like, yeah, pettiness drives me. <laughs> And it's like, it's like even now I have a hard time. This is why I'm doing this sort of podcasting, just to help me be comfortable with it, to say the least. So once I come back to it, I'm like, I can actually do it this time. I can actually improve it, you know? And like, that's a sort of, I want this, like, I want to be able to do this for a solid year. Every week, one, one podcast, you can say talking about different subjects so I can grow used to it and hopefully get people attentions I hope I doubt it but like that's not uh, that's not the entire point of this podcasting I want to do and it's for sort of things that make me keep going like oh the like I'm not saying that the military service will absolutely suck I'm not saying that but it will definitely drag me down for the first week going into another area full of stranger all of them boys as well and where are where and where I'm no oh god see English is a hard language and where I'm from most of the I can call them boys and work and the men are kind of shock and it's like it doesn't help with my homosexuality as well it's not like my country is behind on it but there was a lot of prejudice when I came out of my school but that's not, it's not, the video's not either here or there. What am I saying? Anyway, 
So I know I don't think it's gonna bother me, but I know it's gonna it's gonna do something. If it's for the good, it's for the better. Only time will tell. I'm actually going tomorrow. I'm probably releasing this the day I leave. So that's kind of cool. And mm, I apologize. So I guess that's all the reasons I have for why I'm doing this sort of podcast. And it's like video, it's like, and like going back to strengths and weaknesses when it comes to creating content online, it's like, there's, there's so many different reasons people do that. Actually, I realized some do it for the money and some do it because they're passionate about it. And that's cool. And because you know, you will not get what you want per se. Like you think you deserve better, but YouTube doesn't give it to you and you have to expand your reach. You might do a video that you're gonna hate. Like, and I look up to different, a lot of different people and you can sort of notice it where the quality just goes very up the same as their subscriber count. And it's like, it's cool that they're doing more to it, but it also loses its charm. Like you hear, you can tell that they're doing it because they want to keep up with the numbers that they have and sort of lose and it can become very stressful i realize and it's like youtube is a very big competition i realize because like if you don't deliver people will just not watch it and especially if you decide to take a break like if you take a three months break you're gonna have a drop in views i i think i realize i, I say realize so many times and that really sucks and can be really dissatisfying Especially this day and age, like if you say something wrong 10 years ago, someone's gonna dig it up and you're like, no, wait, did I actually say that crap? So like, and that could really damage your reputation, I realized, especially because everything changes. Like the, the sorts of humor back then, it's gonna be different from here. And this whole quote unquote, <clears throat> cancel, <clears throat> apologize. A cancel culture, it sucks and it can be fairly put down. But anyway, back to video um, doing content. I was like, also, I, I'm saying this now. This is a mess. This is my first time doing it. I'm going all over the places. My point in the beginning, I just want to be comfortable. I thought with the first video, I slightly improved, but turns out I'm dying because I've decided not to drink. It's, uh, it can be hard to be frank. Uh, there you go, that was nice. And like, I've mentioned this before, but like, I will have so many scripts, okay, not a lot of scripts, but like, a few scripts that I'm actually proud with and I want to do audio for, but when I do it, I feel very, not sad, just dissatisfied what I do, but like, and then you think like, oh, you can use that motivation to do better, but then it just makes me depressed because like, I can do better, but what can I do better? So like, and I stop it. But once I do get an audio that I do enjoy, actually, the editing part, it's super fun, actually. I was surprised. Like the minute I discovered, um, I use Premiere Pro for my editing software. The minute I discovered green screen effect, it was like, it just clicked on me, even though, hmm. Even though I'm not the best editor far from it, it's very satisfying having a complete product, especially when you have music. I use I usually put the music at the end, but like hearing where they put the music and hearing like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. It made me satisfied, especially when I released it. Like with my first video, my first video was a commentary on a video made by the S. Monroe Show. And like, you can tell there's obvious flaw in it. Like even though I just mentioned green skin effect, I realize there's a better alternative like I'm pretty sure, let me just check. Um, yeah, it's GIMP, I believe, the art program I used for a while. I realized, oh yeah, it's, just, it's easier just to make that background of my avatar, which I use in the video, translucent on the greenest fake because like one part of the video, like the avatar has the LGBT pride flag on them. But since I use green screen effect, you can notice that their eye is missing and you can see the video behind the avatar. It's like, 
I noticed it during the editing process and I'm like, I'm just gonna keep it in because I've been working on this video for a while and no one's gonna mention it because I have I, no one watches me now because it was my first video. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. So every time I rewatch my old video, I'm like, oh uh, yeah, I have that shame in. And another part of my videos I'm really not happy with with that video is that there's a portion where he talks about it, but like, I just want to talk about, oh, the portion right there is now. You don't have to listen to all of it, but I want to mention, I want to write a content summary of it. So I'm like, oh yeah, just speed up the video, cut it down, and put a text overlay. Simple as that. Yet my dumbass, for some reason, is like, okay, the, it's like the clip goes on for two minutes, even though it's sped up. And I'm like... It never crossed my mind that I should just cut it a little bit more, so I just left it there. So there's this awkward moment where his voice is just high pitch and going really fast with my text on top of it. It's like I can just cut it down, you know? But other than that, I was actually really proud of that video. And when I got my first positive feedback, like a couple of months, look like, I think a couple of weeks later, I forget. I was very happy, even though I didn't notice the video, the comment for quite a while actually because I have two separate YouTube accounts so when I first noticed that I it, it made me very nervous but very happy by the fact that he actually thought it was an okay video or she I don't know so I was proud of that and that actually made me like yeah I should try doing this again it was actually good but then I felt like what kind of video should I do should I do another commentary video or should I just do something light-hearted because I don't want to be just commentary I just want to do a lot more but then there was this new video by Mon uh, Common Kama. I can never pronounce his name without saying it ten times. Also, pronunciation is hard for some people. So, and one, and he released a new and Kama manga comments games. He has a separate channel for video games. There you go. And he his first video was about Pokemon, and I watched it, and I'm like, yo, that's just some points are just like no. So I decided to do a video on it because like. I was petty, like I thought Sun and Moon, Hell, even X and Y were okay Pokemon games. One of the best, better than fucking Ruby and Sapphire, I'm saying it now. And it's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then I did it, and like, fun fact, I mentioned in the video itself, but like, I have a like, it was supposed to be like around half an, half an hour long, but then I cut it for 10 minutes because like, my first point was, the, the reason I made the video was to talk about his video and about, about the Pokemon communities as a whole, which I think I did quite well in those 10 minutes, but I also wanted to go on and talk about X and Y and Sun and Moon on itself, like on their own, talk about why I personally think those games are really good. But then I'm like, I have a hard time writing it, so I thought, oh, let me just freestyle, let me just not use a script. Bad idea, it's like... I'll talk about a positive, and like half a second later, I decided to keep going. I was like, yeah, there's a reason why it ended up being half an hour long. But then I realized, and then I was very dissatisfied by it. So like, yeah, I don't like this part of the video, but I was really proud of the first half. So like, okay, I should just cut it, even though it's going to sound weird because there was multiple points. I mentioned in the beginning how I wanted to talk about X and Y and something by itself. So I decided to just cut it and cut those part off and put them all together for a 10 video, 10 minute long video. And I, was like, and I was like, yeah, I'm proud of this part. I'm gonna release that part. And I did, and I was happy with that, even though it was only 10 minutes long. And another part of YouTube videos, you can also put thumbnails. And like, I'm gonna put up screen my first thumbnail for my Dark Souls 2 commentary video. And like, I had a friend who helped me make this video, by the way, like, with YouTube in general, show me how to do it and stuff. And he's like, yo, this is just a very bad thumbnail, dude. And he's like, let me make you one. And he did, and like, you can tell who had more experience. So when I did my second thumbnail for my second video, I was like, I try my best to make it a little bit better, which I think I did. I'm gonna pat myself in the back here, which I think I did, but my first thumbnail was like, I look at it, it makes me laugh. It's like, Mm, do I even have an original image of it? I think I do, but if I don't, whoops, but like, it's bad. It was like a simple color, the thumbnail of the of the Esmeralda video, and then my avatar, it was dumb. Anyway, speaking of avatars and screen screen effect, like, when I first draw that avatar, it's like, I'm not an artist, far from it. I only draw it during my free time. And remember Miiverse from, the, from Nintendo? That was a thing. I used to draw a lot there, fun fact. <laughs> 
I think you can still find my post in that Meverse archive thing. I like to look back on it and realize like, wow, this is that bad of an artist. Anyway, back to it, like, drawing for me will always just be a hobby. I don't want to take it serious because like, I don't, like, make, taking this hobby serious can make, can really make you not like that hobby anymore, I realize. But that's just me, it could be different for each person to person. Anyway, so when I first did the avatar, it's a simple avatar, it's static. I try making it a little dynamic by changing the face only. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So, but drawing it, it was fun. And I wanted to re up redone it a little bit. Like I made another one, but I never got the chance to use it. I only managed to do the sketch of it. And fun fact, all of my drawings are done by on the 3DS and by the Pokemon Art Academy games. Like, I don't have a drawing tablet, they're kind of expensive, and I'm poor, I like, I don't get allowances, so I can't save up money or stuff. So I had to use that, and like, it worked, and I was okay with that, so I just ran with that one, and I'm like, yeah, it was good. I think, even though it's like, I'm pretty sure you can see, like, you can see that half the face is blank, but then it's not blank, cut in half, like a perfect cut. Anyway, that's not the point. So, and... And like, I'm proud of it, like, even though I hate it now, like, every time, like, you hear from every YouTuber, like, yo, my first video sucks, and it's like, it's true, you're gonna hate your first video, and it's like, videos, so it's like, just leave it up, you have nothing else, you, it's like, and you wanna have, but like, my goal with YouTube is not to take it serious, just to have fun with it, I wanna do it because, like, I know it will be fun, so that's why I do it. And it's my reasons for why I'm doing this sort of podcast. I, you can call it a podcast, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm very anxious. If you can tell, I shuck. And you can hear the dog. Like, right in front of my house, there's this, there's this area where the... You know those really big garbage cans they use for construction where they need to throw stuff? Yeah, apparently they need like five different guard dogs for it because a lot of people steal them. I Don't ask me why. And he and that dog shouts, those dogs shout all the time and it sucked for never have to record because I need to pause but I'm not editing this audio a lot, I'm just, I'm not, so if you hear noises in the background, I apologize, but like, not really. And now I feel bad, oh, whoops. Anyway, my goal with YouTube is just to have fun, never take it serious. If, like, if, my, if one of my later on videos, once I'm done with the army, gets demonetized or I use the music in the background, that just, no, oh, there he goes again. The which gets me monet demonetized with no package. I'm not gonna lose my head over it. It's like I'm in the beginning anyway. It's not like I get any money from it. So like, like, I don't get it. I don't care. I'm doing this for fun. I will never want this to become a big thing. To be honest, like, if I somehow do get big, I know it's gonna suck in a way. I'm not. It's not like I'm talking. It's not like I won't be ungrateful for it. But I know it's gonna give me a lot of stress, a lot of stand, not standard, how should I put it? Also, I have a hard time putting words together without a script. Anyway, back to it, it's like, people will have high expectation of you, so it's like, oh crap, I'm bad at giving expectations, so like, whoops. Like I said, my end game is just to have fun. I don't want this to be a big thing. I want to have it small. Like, even if I do get like a hundred subscribers, I'm gonna cry. I'm a person that cries easily, by the way. The minute I accepted the fact that I'm a weak person, I guess not weak, but like I cry easily. Like I cry so much. It's not even a joke. Anyway, that's a citation. And it's like I just I want to have fun. Even if I do like my last two videos are commentary videos and I don't mean any ill intent to those two people. I actually really like their context. Michael Common and the S. Monroe show. I enjoy their context and I did it because like <laughs> it's fun and I was like I want quote unquote defend those games I enjoy I guess. You hear it here first. I think Dark Souls 2 is an okay game. So is Dark Souls 1, but like, that's not the point. <laughs> so like, I know this podcast will definitely be short. Oh, and you also have a lot of birds, so I'm gonna mention that. I also have chickens in the back, and they're, and they're a hoot, to say the least. Anyway, 
and that's all I have to say for the first one. I'll try my... I was like, hmm, did I mention the fact that I procrastinate really hard? I think I did. And I'm just gonna go on the side note. I want to talk about video games. I want to talk about all kind of stuff. Like, what happened in the army? Is it that bad as I think it is? Or I just go on and realize, yo, Nintendo will never do another Direct. Why is there rumors every time there's been no Direct for a couple of months? It's dumb. And again, I said it like how many times? I'm doing this to grow confidence I with my video skills. So once I'm done with the army after a year, a couple of months actually, I think it's like one year and four months. So once I come back to it, I can go it with full passion. And hopefully I know what I want to do in the army. Like I, even once I was done with school, it's like, so what are you going to do in your future? They ask and I'm like, I have no idea. I'm screwed, aren't I? Hopefully in the army, I can discover what I want to do. But like, I, like, I hope to God because if I don't and I come out of the army, I'm like, yeah, I'm screwed in life. <laughs> Growing, being growing older sucks, but like it's part of life. You gotta suck it up. Also, I say suck a lot. Also, remember to stay hydrated, people, because if you don't drink enough water, especially on hot weather, you get headaches easily if you if you talk a lot. I realize. <clears throat> Writing, no, like I guess that's all I have to say, really, and I appreciate like i know it sucks don't mention like if someone wants to go talk about how sucky it is like go ahead i know that as well but like you gotta start somewhere you know you're not a pro the minute you start and like i appreciate if anyone does ended up listening to this so like hey thank you and another thing, final notes, I guess you can say, I'll try my best to keep this going for like half an hour to an hour, especially with video games, because I can go on with video games, I realize. And like, the only thing I'm proud of, like, is the background music. It's like, yeah, I did some stuff. Like, one track I really want to use is like, if anyone remembers that Wii game, Pocket Part Wii, because she's the adventure thing, I absolutely adore that game. I played it as a kid and I love it. And like the music is one of my favorite moments because for some reason, like I go on with my day and the music just hits on my head for some reason. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start crying nostalgia to your thanks game. And it's like, I choose one check the game that makes me happy. So like, I'm proud of that for some reason. And like, you have to be proud of the little things in life, I realize. Again, thank you for what listening, I guess you can say this time. And I hope I can do this again next week. Okay, I doubt it next week, but the week after that. And I hope I can do this for a solid year. That's my end game goal. I'm gonna find topics. I'm gonna try my best to drag it out to half an hour somehow. Watch me. I'll suck at it while trying. But I want to. It's my personal end game goal. Also, not to die in the army because you're like, oh boy, we'll suck if that happens. Also, I might have like guests come along. And when I mean guests, I mean just one person I know. But like, I don't have a lot of internet friends, by the way. I am a knight. I'm like in the background of everything. I'm just gonna talk once and then that's it. So, yeah, so I'm not always gonna be alone and like, even though I will have the same guest like five times, but like It'll be okay Anyway again, I hope to see you again. I hope I can hear you again You who's listening, you know, you're, you know who you are. I hope I can see you again. You can listen to me again Oh god, see like first podcast. I'm gonna hate this as much as I do with my other videos Even though I'm gonna be less slightly proud of it uh, also another thing. Oh god, I keep going. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about video game music. But and what I mean is audio for some, like... No, I'm gonna save it for next week. I'm, I'm going off on a ton tangent. It's like... You can fucking tell through my voice that I'm just anxious to do this because like it's my first time. Like even after those two videos and I did other multiple recording for other stuff I never ended up releasing. It was like... I'm gonna have to do this. No, I don't have to do this actually. I can just stop it and end it right there and have it as a secret shame, but that's not the point. It's like, you have to grow crumb. You have to go crumb. Oh, see? 
I have to, you have to grow comfortable at one point. And if you want to do this, you kind of have to do this. So this is why I'm making this. And it might seem like as though I'm dragging it on just to reach that half hour point, and I probably am. Anyway, I appreciate it if anyone ended up does listening to this and hear me go on and on about topics that like slightly have some correlation to it, but probably does it. Also, good luck trying to figure out what words I'm trying to use because like the English lexicon is hard. <laughs> Again, I appreciate for anyone who listens to this. I hope I can do this again a second time during this month. Or next week. Hopefully next week. Probably won't. You know. Thank you again. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did okay. I did not do okay. You know, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god.